Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. <clears throat> When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Happy Veterans Day out there, folks. Make it a great one. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 18, NASDAQ down 9, S&P's up 4, gold contract down $5.50 trading at 1457 an ounce. We have silver flat, $16.83 an ounce. Light sweet crude, off 33 cents, $56.91 a barrel. Notes and bonds, markets closed. They traded earlier. Um, 128.13, the tens at right now, 156.20 is the 30. King dollar, King dollar down 158 ticks, trading 98.195. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 109, and the pound is at 128 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You got a flat market out here, basically. You got a sideways market. You're not going to have any volume. It's Veterans Day. You get the banks closed. You're up 20, you're down 46 cents. You get 25 million shares traded. Uh, bottom line, I don't expect much happening here coming into the close. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX 100. NDX 100 right now, trading down 27 cents. You get 7 million shares traded. Yeah, it's an anemic volume. You're going into 17 million, which is anemic volume at its highs anyway. Dow Industrials, inside the Dow Industrials, folks, it's all about Boeing. Boeing saying that they think they're going to start delivering their 767 maxes in December. And God bless them, man. I, I don't know how they're going to do that, but that's, that's what they're claiming. And... What you had when this thing come out, uh, of course, Boeing shot up like a jackrabbit, 124 points. The, Boeing itself is putting 124 points inside the Dow Industrials, folks, and the Dow is up 12 and a half points. Um, Walgreens is putting 18 points. Apple's putting 11. Taken away from it, you get Goldman minus 25. You get 3M minus 22. United Health 20. IBM uh, 17. So some uh, some big numbers right across the board. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract out here. We had some nice volatility also in the gold market out here, um, actually all day. And gold right now it hit a, it hit a it hit a low. Where do we go? Hit a low out here today of 1448. That 1448 bottom line. Where was it going? Right to its breakout area. It's pr pretty amazing, actually. We went to 1448.90, and the breakout area from August 5th is 1448.80. Uh, what, we, what we did have here is that you, and the, I'll put this up so you can see how this traded out. Uh, from 10 to 10.30 this morning, folks, uh, bottom line, you had uh, basically uh, 3 million ounces of gold sold. Someone was either liquidating, the margins call, who knows, or just selling it to the marketplace. That being said, guess what? The gold contract took it, ate it, spit it out, and bottom line, what are, you, what are you doing up here? You come back to the breakout area, you had lighter volume than a 1448.80, wants higher price. If we go over and take a look at the GLD, you're going to be able to see it inside the GLD. GLD out here, uh, coming back into 27 million shares, and you're talking about 5.8 million. Yeah, big number. The GDX, we go take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see inside the the equity futures, uh, the gold equity futures in general. Uh, bottom line, same type of setup. Rejected lower price, tremendously lighter volume. We're talking about 21 million um, going into, my God, 101 million. You know, you're talking about some big numbers out here. Huge numbers, actually. Uh, IWM, the small caps. Small caps are still the weakest indice out here. The small caps last week failed on price, failed on volume on the weekly basis. You're going sideways out here today, 6.7 million shares, you're down 37 cents. I don't expect a lot of uh, action there. Some of the higher volume equities, and this will be a low volume market, of course, because we have the uh, holiday happening. Uh, what we have is that you have uh, Advanced Micro is up 15 cents, 
Chesapeake Energy continues low. It's trading 81 cents. Uh, Walgreens. Walgreens is uh, in play out here. It's going to be pretty wild if we, if Walgreens, if KKR actually pulls this off. If you remember, KKR was the one of the first firms that ever did the largest transaction at that time, which was the Philip Morris ones. It was, uh, it was a big movie. Bottom line is that it was big money at that point. Uh, this is going to be monster money if that, at this point, uh, like 72 billion if that thing is going to go. Uh, private. So we'll see where they can pull it off. Same firm, though. Uh, Roku. Roku is up by $7 out here. We got Freeport Mac Moran down 43 cents. Uh, Boeing's the big one. Boeing's up by $18.16. Uh, no doubt, uh, big dollars up there. Oil. Let's go take a look at the oil market out here. Uh, oil right now, let's get the active contract. Okay, so the active contract right now, uh, trading down 33 cents, 56 dollars 91 cents a barrel, and uh, it's hanging up here. That's the real bottom line. The swing point that you got to keep your eye on is the 56.92. Uh, that being said, though, guess what? The bottom line is that uh, you're over that level. You're backing down today. This back down does have lighter volume, so we'll see if they can get any uh, juice to the top side. Silver. We're going to take a look at the silver market out here. Silver rejected lower price out here today, and bottom line, we get down to 1663. 1658 was the breakout area in silver. That was the August 7th low. The high of that was 1739. Uh, bottom line, you know, we'll see whether we can get some juice going to the top side. Um, silver has to get back inside 1794 in order to get back inside its larger range. Um, a lot of talk out here today about. Uh, John Legend uh, from Sprint, uh, well, from uh, First Mobile, uh, Team Mobile, actually, um, about being the uh, CEO of WeWork. Now, what's going to get intriguing there, folks, no doubt, is that uh, they're still trying to put together the uh, Sprint Team Mobile deal. Uh, but I can see how this came up because the bottom line is that uh, if, in fact, that deal still goes through, that made SoftBank, that was a huge problem for SoftBank for years. And he fixed it if it goes through. Bottom line, maybe he's going to be the fixer for uh, WeWork. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.